Hi, the ants get tired of being attacked for no reason, so they work together to get rid of Lucas the Destroyer, who is shrunk and forced to live with them in the colony. Today, we'll tell you what happened in the 2006 movie The Ant Bully. One night, while everyone else in the colony is sleeping, Zack goes looking for the last ingredient he needs to finish his potion. After days of looking, he finally finds the fire crystals and asks Spindle to light the next morning. When the workers go back to work, they are interrupted by the destroyer. The anthill is in the backyard of the Nickel family home, where Lucas lives with his parents and sister Tiffany. Lucas has no friends and is often teased by other boys in the neighborhood, especially Steve. Steve is the oldest in the class, so he uses his strength and size to intimidate the other boys in the neighborhood. To stop the teasing, Nikki and other young kids join Steve. After giving Lucas wedge, the boy leaves with his gang. Angry, Lucas pulls out his water pistol and attacks the anthill. This isn't the first time he's done this. Every time he's humiliated, the boy attacks the anthills as a way to let out his anger. Because of this, the young man became known as the destroyer throughout the colony. Zok tries to stop him and threatens to use his powers. Hova tries to talk to the boy because she thinks that will stop the attacks, but she fails and Zack has to save his girlfriend from being crushed. When the boy was about to kill the couple, his mother called him back home and told him that she and her husband were going on a romantic trip to celebrate their wedding anniversary. She said goodbye to Lucas and saw that he was upset, so she asked him what was wrong. Age rubs the fire crystals, but the liquid doesn't change color like he thought it would. Ova tries to cheer him up, but the head of the council interrupts them. He says that because of the destroyer's frequent attacks, food supplies are much lower than usual, and he asks if Zack has any ideas. Zack promises that he will soon be able to finish his potion, which will save the colony. The next morning, as Lucas waters the grass, he is Zack keeps working on his potion and finds that the fire crystals aren't working because they have cracks. To fix this, he decides to use Essen. The mage then tries again, and the potion is finally ready. While he's partying, he's surprised by a strong current of water that rushes into the anthill and pulls everyone along with it. The place was about to be completely destroyed when a strange man comes up to him and says he's a pest exterminator. Stan Beals says that Fred Nicole hired him but forgot to sign the contract before going on a trip. He then convinces Fred's son to sign the contract in his father's place. After the flood, Zack and Hova come out of the water and find that Spindle saved the potion. They rescue the head of the council, who was buried under rocks, and feel hopeless. At the moment, the mage tells the ants that he has finished his potion, and that night he meets with other ants to put his plan into action. The ants are worried about the situation because all of the attacks happened for no reason and without them doing anything wrong. The small group walks through the whole house to get to Luca's room. Zack puts the liquid in the boy's ear, and when the boy wakes up in the middle of a storm, the potion is already working. Lucas wakes up to find that everything around him is huge and that he himself has shrunk. Startled, he falls out of bed and lands in a bag of chips, where Zack is already waiting for him. Due to a strong thunder, Grandma Mama wakes up scared and goes to Lucas' room to see if he is okay. At that time, she sees her grandson being taken away by ants and passes out outside the house. The all of the ants were already there to watch the event, and they are surprised to see a human so close. The guards drag him to the council, where few Gax reads the charges. It's announced that the queen ant is coming to give the sentence to the human. The majesty decides not to kill the boy because it would only keep the colony alive for a short time, after which other humans could attack them. Instead, they want to make Lucas live with them in the colony until he learns what it's like to be an ant. This way, they can build a better future for all ants. Hova offers to help the young man on his journey, and the next morning they start training. However, Lucas tries to hide from her and comes up with an escape plan while trying to make an outfit out of things he finds around the colony. However, 
Hove realizes that there is no point in running away because he will only get back to his normal size after learning to become an ant, so she offers to help him find his place in the colony. Hove tries to include him in the collection because the instructor is a close friend of hers. Krilla gives the boy and other males in the colony to the blue team. In the first trial, each team must work together to avoid obstacles. Get the jelly bean, which they call the sweet stone, and bring it back to the nest. The first team to do so will win, but no one can be left behind. Krilla starts the race, and the first thing they have to do is cross a crack in the ground. The blue team ants work together to make a bridge, but Lucas decides to go it alone. He falls into the crack and has to be rescued by his teammates before they can cross the puddle of water. As they talk, Hova praises the boy's work, but Lucas says he doesn't work well with others. When Hova hears or sees something coming, he pulls the boy to safety. Soon after, a group of wasps comes to the colony and robs them. At this point, the ants attack them and throw stones at them. One of the wasps attacks Krella, but Sack comes to save her. He hits the insect with a bolt of lightning and runs to help Hova, who is also being attacked while protecting Lucas. The wizard asks the boy to help her, but he gets scared and runs away. Zack comes to help her, but the wasp catches Hover and flies her away. One of the predators goes after the boy, and he comes up with the idea of using a firecracker that was lying on his lawn to kill the wasp. He uses a shard of glass to direct the sun's heat to the rope and lights the firecracker in an attempt to kill the boy. The Hova decides to let her go and leave with her swarm. When the ants see that their enemies are leaving, they credit the destroyer and thank him for saving the colony. Zack, on the other hand, is furious about this because he knows that Lucas was only trying to save himself that night to celebrate his victory. The whole colony is having a party and Fugax brings nectar for dinner. When he sees his new friends eating it, Lucas decides to try it and thinks it tastes great. He eats all of it and when Fugax goes to get more, Lucas realizes it's just maggot droppings and throws up to feel better. Hova gives him a piece of root in a drop of water. After he drinks it, the boy starts to feel better and lets out a belch that can be heard throughout the colony. After dinner, Hova, Fugax, and Krella decide to take their guest to meet the Queen Mother, the woman who gave birth to all queens in all colonies. On the way there, they stop to talk to the king and queen of a neighboring colony to find out what Lucas sees drawings on the wall that tell the history of the colony. Finally, they see a picture of the mother ant. Legend has it that she will return one day and fresh nectar will fall from the sky like rain. There is also a picture of the cloud breather there. This picture is very old and no one in the colony really knows what it means, but everyone knows that if he sees it, he will die. Lucas remembers that he signed a contract with the Terminator and runs to his house to try to get out of it. Krilla tries to stop the boy, but he tells his friends that if they help him, they can get as many sweet stones as they want. As they walk through the door, they soon come across a shagrug that could slow them down. Lucas comes up with the idea of using rose petals as a parachute. After climbing on the sideboard, each of them picks up a pedal and waits for the boy's command to jump. When they do, they are pushed. The boy dials the number of Stan the Terminator but gets the last number wrong. The phone rings and a Pizza Kingdom employee answers it. Lucas thinks he's talking to Stan and says he wants to cancel the contract. At the end of the call, he feels relieved, but the phone rings again and Tiffany answers it. When it hangs up, she sees Fugax picking up a jelly bean and attacks him. She wants to get rid of that disgusting insect, but Grandma Mom he tells the boys he won't give them the potion that will make them grow again because he is a threat. The boy leaves, and when Zok gets to the colony, she sees her boyfriend alone. She asks where he went, and the mage tells her that he's gone. At first, Hova is angry, but she soon feels disappointed in Zok. She then goes to find Lucas, Fugax, and Krella decide to help her find the boy, who won't be able to survive the night alone. Alive, Zack shows up just in time, and when he sees Hova crying over the boy's death, he feels bad and decides to help. The beetle that Lucas met is in the frog's stomach, 
along with a firefly and a mosquito. When the boy shows up and sees a dead bug in the middle of the disgusting goo, everyone wants to leave the place. When the frog burps in Lucas, the bugs come out. The grumpy mosquito is happy to be free, but another frog soon eats it. Zack and Lucas meet up with the other ants, and Hova forgives Lucas. Since they are far from the colony, they decide to camp for the night. In the morning, Fugax is the first to wake up and grab the mother ant coming toward the colony. He starts screaming with happiness, and his friends wake up right away. When they look at the giant ant, Lucas realizes that it is his girlfriend, Hova. At this point, the exterminator realizes that his plan to get out of the contract has failed, and Zack quickly figures out who the guy is. In the cap as the cloud breather, when the mother ant shows up, Everyone in the colony is happy, but Zack shows up to tell them the truth. Lucas says the man is going to kill the colony with poisons and sprays. When asked how he knew all this, the boy says that he hired the smoke. Hearing this, the head of the council tells the guards to get rid of him, but Lucas has an idea. The boy says that Zack used the potion to shrink Stan in the same way he was shrunk. Together, they go to the wasp's nest to ask for help because their lives were also in danger. The wasps decide to help the ants get rid of the exterminator mounted on the wasps. The ants fly to the man's head, but Stan blows his nose when Lucas is lucky that Hove is nearby and can give him a ride. When everything seems to be going well, they are attacked and fall to the ground. A wasp is on top of Hova, and the two of them can't move. Lucas thinks about running away, but he remembers that ants work as a team and won't leave his group behind. He picks up the wasp and frees Hova so that the three of them can escape. Up ahead, they see a mailbox, and Hove climbs up. Behind him, Lucas seconds after that. The man starts to ride and gets smaller. Stan isn't as small as an ant. He's about the size of a child. Now that the enemy is defenseless, the remaining wasps attack him. Since he's too short to get into his van, he steals a tricycle and uses it to get away. When the attack is over, the ants return to the colony and praise Lucas as their savior. The queen then gives him his freedom before leaving. The boy says goodbye to his friends. Steve and his gang come to pick on Lucas, but the boy is not afraid and decides to face them. Steve gets mad at Nicky and threatens to beat him up, so Lucas finds a way to join with the weaker boys and fight against his neighbor's bullying. The young ones are also happy and run after Steve, but the boy runs away, showing what a coward he is. Since the bully was no longer in charge, they invite Lucas to play, but before he leaves, he throws a few jelly beans around the anthills. What did you think of this movie? Tell us in the comments below, and if you like the video, Please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you again soon.